Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to streamline communication with your customers through WhatsApp in Zuho CRM? In this video, I will guide you on how to integrate WhatsApp in Zuho CRM in 2023. You will learn how to connect WhatsApp business API to Zuho CRM. So, let's get started. Start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, to actually start with this tutorial, we will follow the guide which is in front of us. So here, as you can see, we need, first of all, to have a Facebook business manager account, as you can see, and a verified business, a WhatsApp business account, and a registered phone number to access the WhatsApp business API. The phone number must meet the requirements mentioned in this article, which is over here, as you can see. So let me just open it for you. And it has to be matching everything in here. It has to be owned by you, has a country and an area code, such as landline and send numbers, able to receive voice calls or SMS, not a short code, and not previously used with the WhatsApp business platform. So these are the five conditions for you to have a reliable and a good phone number that will be accepted by WhatsApp and Facebook and any other kind of meta platform uh, like applications. Right after that, what you will have to do is simply follow these steps. So integrating WhatsApp messaging services with Zoho CRM, you have to start first with going to set up on your Zoho account and then click on channels and then click on business messaging. As you will see here, the under WhatsApp, click details integrate. So here we go, we click in here, details, and there they will show you this page. And then all you have to do in the WhatsApp access request page, log in with the Facebook business manager credentials. So as well, you have to get a Facebook manager credentials. So how to get a Facebook manager account, this is very simple. You will have to first have a Facebook account. And from this account, you can create a business account for Facebook. So it is the same thing with WhatsApp. You will get the number and with this number you create a WhatsApp business account. The same thing for both. And then click, once you are done, click on get started as you can see over here. So click on get started. So this, this setup will include three steps to create your Facebook and WhatsApp business account, create your WhatsApp business profile, and then you should verify your WhatsApp business number. To verify it, they will either call you or send an SMS code to that number. So make sure you have a real number, not a fake number from like the social media of the internet that will not be able to send you the number on it. And once, for example, let's say that you tried like a couple of fake numbers, they will actually get you banned from the applications. So make sure that you have this in mind and don't try to scam the app. Once you feel like you are ready to do that, click on get started. And then once you do everything here, click on continue to give all the permissions that the application will ask for. Then all you have to do is create a new Facebook business account or select an existing account from the options. So here, for example, they will either show you create a new Facebook business account or you will have simply to choose an already account that you have then click on and continue and then the seventh step which is create a new whatsapp business account or select an existing account from the options the same thing with facebook you will replicate it on whatsapp as you can see then click on continue then you will have another continue and then you'll have to create a new whatsapp business profile or select an existing profile from the options in my case i really like to start fresh so a, I really I'd rather create a new WhatsApp business profile than uh, logging into an existing one since the existing one will have a lot of like profiles in it, chats in it that will have no related relation with the current business that I'm working on. Oh, probably. So then click on continue. And now we are on the 11th step, which is verifying your WhatsApp business number. As I said, you either verify it using a text message, which is an SMS or a voice call. So here it is completely up to you. If you have like 
uh, a real number between your hands you can't try voice call but unless you were trying so badly to scam or like yeah, just if you want to try a number randomly can go with text messages and if you were lucky enough you will get the message, uh, sms on uh, that platform that you got the number from and then once you're done you are now on the 12th uh, step which is simply clicking on OK to accept all the terms and etc. And then on the configure WhatsApp business profile in CRM, which is on Zuho now. So we are back to the Zuho. Provide a nickname for the WhatsApp business profile in CRM. So provide a professional nickname and then select a phone number to be associated with WhatsApp business profile, which is the number that you have added. And then all the numbers associated with your WhatsApp business manager profile will be listed here. If another does not meet conditions mentioned in the prerequisites, uh, prerequisites, you will not be able to associate the particular number. As you can see, for example, here, there is three numbers, only one that is working. The others are in gray, so you can't really even uh, click on them. Now we are on the 14th, which is the before the end of the steps, provide a nickname for the WhatsApp business profile in CRM and click on next. So here you have to provide the account preferences choosing from the drop down options. So here, as you can see, there is account preferences. Preferences allows you to convert unknown message sender into Zuho CRM record. So if a message is received from an unknown sender to the simple channel new account, you can have here fixed. So here add as leads, assign user and choose user. So you can here uh, choose literally everything by row. As you can see here, provide account preferences choosing the, from the drop down options to add as leads or contacts, assign to users group or rows and choose the users group or rows. And once you're done, you have successfully created your uh, WhatsApp business account, your Facebook business manager account and connected them to your Juha account. So bus WhatsApp business messaging account is now activated. And to in case you'd like to deactivate it, you just have to go to this, uh, just do the same step that you have done in the beginning. So go to setup, channels, business messaging, and then the next thing which is click on the deactivate button in the WhatsApp business integration section, as you might see here. So click on this activate, as you might see. So here it is, how it looks like. Here you will find your number and the information about you, the available credit that you have. And once you deactivate it, you can just click on yes, delete, if in case you'd like to delete it, and it will be deleted. And now for the most important thing, which is you have to really buy credit and auto recharge so you can start talking to people using this. So in case you'd like to charge something, you can simply click on your WhatsApp business account from WhatsApp and buy through it, or you can just go to Soho and go to setup channels, business messaging, click buy credits, and this option will be only available only after the phone number is activated. So enter the value that you want, click on next and then choose the payment method and you will have your credits added to your balance and yeah guys that was completely it i hope you like this video and see you guys in the next tutorial